I have a gluten allergy, so I can't really eat. You pizza. have a gluten allergy? That's yes. so unusual to hear from an actress. No, it's for real. I have to be careful now because I'm old. No, you're not. Yes, yes, I'm almost 70. Well, you look. I got I'm back. Great for 70. <laughs> I really like the way you said that. Can we leave that in? <laughs> Craig Ferguson's late night charm was legendary. With his cheeky grin and playful flirtation, he turned every celebrity guest into a potential connection. From Sharon Stone to Parker Posey, fans couldn't help but wonder, was there something real going on behind those flirty exchanges? Parker Posey. Parker Posey, the queen of indies, made her first appearance on The Late Late Show in 2007, and sparks flew instantly. You could tell from the moment she walked on stage that there was something special about their interaction. Craig and Parker had this chemistry that felt almost electric, like they were two magnets drawn to each other. Watching them, you couldn't help but wonder if there was something more going on behind the scenes. And honestly, it wasn't long before the rumors started swirling. Now, Parker Posey isn't your typical Hollywood actress. She's got this unique blend of quirkiness and intensity that makes her stand out. She's starred in some of the most iconic indie films from The House of Yes to Best in Show. She's not afraid to take on roles that are strange, even a little dark, and that's part of her appeal. In a world full of cookie-cutter actresses, Parker is a breath of fresh air. She's unpredictable, edgy, and always keeps you guessing. And that's exactly why she was such a perfect match for Craig. Their personalities meshed in a way that felt natural, like they were two sides of the same coin. Their interactions were the stuff of late night legend. Craig would lean in, throwing out a compliment or a joke, and Parker would fire back with something equally clever. It was like watching a tennis match, each of them volleying back and forth, trying to one-up the other. But beneath the jokes and the laughter, there was this undeniable tension. You could see it in the way they looked at each other, the way they'd sometimes let a moment linger just a little too long. And the audience picked up on it. People started speculating about whether they were dating, whether there was something real behind the playful banter. The thing about Parker and Craig is that they never confirmed or denied anything. They left it all up to the imagination, which only fueled the rumors. But there were little clues here and there. Parker would mention something about a past relationship, and Craig would get this look on his face, like he knew exactly what she was talking about. And when they were on stage together, it was like they were in their own little world. They'd laugh at inside jokes, make references that no one else understood, and you'd get the sense that there was a whole other story playing out behind the scenes. By 2008, the rumors had died down, and whatever was between them seemed to have fizzled out. Maybe it was just a fling, a brief moment of connection that burned bright but didn't last. Or maybe there was something deeper that they chose to keep private. We'll probably never know, and that's part of the intrigue. Parker Posey remains one of the most enigmatic figures to ever grace the Late Late Show, and her time with Craig is a mystery that fans still love to revisit. Even now, years later, people still talk about those episodes, wondering what might have been. It's the kind of story that stays with you, lingering in the back of your mind, a tantalizing what-if that you can't quite shake. Olivia Williams When Olivia Williams first appeared on Craig Ferguson's show, it was like watching two old friends reunite. Their relationship actually goes back to the movie Born Romantic, where they shared the screen and, if rumors are to be believed, a bit more than that. From the start, there was this unmistakable connection between them. They had this easy, comfortable way of talking to each other, like they'd known each other forever. And maybe in a way, they had. There's something about shared experiences that binds people together, and for Craig and Olivia, Born Romantic was one of those experiences. Olivia isn't one to shy away from a good joke, and she certainly didn't hold back when it came to teasing Craig. She once joked that they could have been married by now if Craig hadn't messed things up. It was the kind of offhand comment that gets people talking, wondering what she really meant by that. Was she just playing around, or was there a hint of truth in her words? Watching them together, you could see that there was something unspoken between them, 
something that went beyond the usual host-guest dynamic. At the time of her appearances on The Late Late Show, Olivia was riding high in her career. She'd starred in The Postman and Peter Pan, but it was her role in The Ghost Rider that really brought her critical acclaim. She was at the peak of her career, and Craig seemed genuinely proud of her success. He'd bring up her work with this glint in his eye like he was talking about an old friend, and in a way, he was. They shared a history, and that history added a layer of depth to their conversations that you didn't see with other guests. Fans, of course, loved it. They picked up on the subtle hints, the shared glances, the way they seemed to be in their own little world. When Olivia made that comment about marriage, the internet went wild. People were suddenly invested in this idea of Craig and Olivia as a couple, imagining what could have been if they'd taken things to the next level. It was like a real-life romance playing out on screen, with all the intrigue and mystery of a classic love story. Sharon Stone When it comes to star power, few names shine as brightly as Sharon Stone. Her career has been marked by iconic roles and unforgettable performances, and when she appeared on The Late Late Show, it was clear that Craig Ferguson was more than a little starstruck. This was Sharon Stone, after all, Hollywood royalty, and Craig's admiration was palpable. So it came as no surprise that after her appearance on his show, he decided to ask her out. Yes, Craig Ferguson asked Sharon Stone on a date, and if that's not a testament to his charisma, I don't know what is. During an interview on The Howard Stern Show, Craig opened up about this surprising date with Sharon Stone. He shared that he had always been fascinated by her, particularly by her role in Basic Instinct. That movie was a cultural phenomenon, largely thanks to Sharon's electrifying performance as the seductive and dangerous Catherine Trammell. It was a role that turned Sharon into a household name and cemented her status as one of Hollywood's most alluring actresses. Craig confessed to Howard Stern that while he and Sharon were out, he couldn't stop thinking about that scene, the one with the leg crossing that left everyone breathless. You could almost feel his nerves as he recounted the story, painting a picture of a man who was both thrilled and overwhelmed by the company he was in. Now, this date wasn't a typical Hollywood affair. It wasn't splashed across the tabloids, and there were no paparazzi lurking in the bushes. In fact, Craig described it as a low-key dinner where the two of them simply talked and got to know each other. But the real drama, as Craig admitted, was happening in his head. He was sitting across from Sharon Stone, and he just couldn't believe his luck. Here was a woman he had admired from afar, whose movies he had watched countless times, and now she was right there in front of him. He described feeling a bit awkward, admitting that he wasn't quite sure how to handle the situation. It's one thing to flirt with celebrities on your own show, but it's another thing entirely to be on a date with one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Of course, the media couldn't resist when they got wind of the date. The idea of Craig Ferguson dating Sharon Stone was too juicy to ignore. Tabloids picked up on the story, and soon enough, Fans were buzzing with speculation. Was this just a casual dinner, or was there something more going on? Some fans thought it was a match made in Hollywood heaven, while others wondered if Craig was in over his head. After all, Sharon Stone was a bona fide movie star, and Craig, while charming, was known for his late-night antics more than his Hollywood connections. But Craig, ever the gentleman, downplayed the whole thing. He described the date as enjoyable, but admitted that they didn't have that spark that would turn a dinner into something more. There was admiration, certainly, and even a bit of infatuation. But the chemistry just wasn't quite there. And in a way, that's what made the story so endearing. It wasn't a Hollywood love affair with red carpets and flashing cameras. It was just two people sharing a meal, one of them a little starstruck and the other entirely at ease. Looking back, it's easy to see why the media went wild over the story. Sharon Stone represents a kind of glamour that most people can only dream of, and Craig Ferguson, with his cheeky humor and Scottish charm, seemed like the last person you'd expect to see by her side. But that's the magic of Craig. He's unpredictable, and he's never afraid to take a chance, even if it means stepping out of his comfort zone.
And while the date may not have led to a whirlwind romance, it left fans with a story to remember, one that captures the essence of Craig's unique appeal. He's the kind of guy who, despite all odds, can sit across from a Hollywood icon and still manage to be himself. That's the real magic of Craig Ferguson. Dana DeLorenzo Dana DeLorenzo's appearances on The Late Late Show were nothing short of electric. She played a recurring character named Beth, a charming and slightly offbeat network executive with a not-so-secret crush on Craig's character. Dana brought this incredible energy to the role, and you could tell that she and Craig had a blast working together. Their on-screen chemistry was so palpable that fans couldn't help but wonder if there was something more going on behind the scenes. After all, Dana and Craig had a way of playing off each other that felt almost too natural, too easy. It was the kind of chemistry that makes you lean in a little closer, trying to catch every word, every glance. Dana DeLorenzo wasn't a household name when she first started on Craig's show, but she quickly built a loyal following. She had this fiery wit and a no-holds-barred approach to comedy that made her a perfect match for Craig's unpredictable style. And while she may be best known for her role as Kelly Maxwell on Ash vs. Evil Dead, where she played a foul-mouthed, demon-slaying sidekick to Bruce Campbell's Ash Williams, Dana's work on The Late Late Show holds a special place in the hearts of fans. Her character Beth became a kind of symbol of their on-screen chemistry, representing the playful, flirty dynamic that Craig was so famous for. Off-camera, Dana and Craig seem to share a genuine friendship. They'd joke around, tease each other, and exchange looks that left fans buzzing with speculation. Watching them together, you couldn't help but wonder if there was something more behind those playful exchanges. And of course, the rumors started flying. Were they dating? Was there a secret romance brewing between them? It didn't help that Dana and Craig never quite denied the rumors. They just let them linger adding to the mystery. Fans love to speculate, and the lack of concrete answers only fueled their curiosity. Now let's talk about what could have been. Dana and Craig had this undeniable chemistry, both on and off the screen, and it's easy to imagine a world where they were more than just colleagues. In some ways, they seemed like the perfect match. They shared the same sense of humor, the same quick wit, and the same willingness to push boundaries. Watching them interact, you could almost see the sparks flying, and you couldn't help but wonder what might have happened if they had taken things to the next level. It's one of those tantalizing what-ifs that keeps fans coming back, re-watching old episodes, and searching for clues. But Dana's rise in Hollywood was just beginning, and her career was taking her in a different direction. She was gaining recognition for her work in Ash vs. Evil Dead, and her fan base was growing by the day. And while her time on The Late Late Show may have come to an end, her impact on Craig's show, and on his fans, was undeniable. Dana brought something special to the show, a spark that made her interactions with Craig feel fresh and exciting. And even though their relationship may have been just a playful flirtation, it left fans with plenty to talk about. Mila Kunis When Mila Kunis joined Craig Ferguson on The Late Late Show, it was pure magic. Craig had a way of making everyone feel special, but there was something about his interaction with Mila that was especially unforgettable. It wasn't long before Craig pulled out one of his trademark moves, the harmonica. He loved using it as a quirky icebreaker, and with Mila, it turned into a full-blown jam session. Watching them play around with the harmonica, you could tell they were both in their element, sharing laughs and trading jokes. Craig had this unique ability to turn the simplest moments into something completely entertaining. And Mila was more than up for the ride. Craig's playful persona shined through as he teased Mila about her family, even bringing up her dad at one point. It's not every day you see a late-night host going that personal, but with Craig, it never felt forced. He managed to walk that fine line between playful and personal, and Mila responded in kind. She was clearly amused, laughing and rolling with Craig's jokes as if they were old friends. It felt like they were letting the audience in on a private joke, something only they could share. 
That's what made their interaction so engaging. There was this sense that we were witnessing a genuine connection. Of course, Mila is no stranger to comedy. By the time she appeared on Craig's show, she was already well known for her roles in comedies like Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Friends with Benefits. She has this sharp wit and impeccable timing that make her a natural fit for Craig's brand of humor. Mila knows how to handle herself in a comedic setting, and she gave as good as she got. She wasn't just a guest, she was a sparring partner, someone who could keep up with Craig and even challenge him a little. Their back and forth felt like a well-rehearsed routine, even though you knew it was all spontaneous. Watching them, you couldn't help but notice the way Craig looked at Mila. There was a twinkle in his eye, a playful grin on his face. He'd toss out a flirtatious comment, and Mila would shoot back with a sassy retort, her eyes sparkling with mischief. It was like watching two friends banter, but with just enough flirtation to keep things interesting. Craig had a way of complimenting Mila that felt genuine, yet cheeky. He'd praise her for something, then immediately follow it up with a joke, leaving her laughing and the audience in stitches. And the fans? Well, they ate it up. As soon as the episode aired, social media lit up with comments about Craig and Mila's undeniable chemistry. People were speculating about whether there was something more between them, dissecting every look, every laugh. Some fans were convinced they'd make the perfect couple, while others just loved watching them flirt. It wasn't long before the clips started making the rounds online, with fans sharing their favorite moments and debating what they meant. Craig and Mila had managed to turn a simple interview into a viral sensation, all thanks to their natural rapport. Their playful chemistry sparked plenty of discussions online, with fans eagerly re-watching their episodes, hunting for clues, and sharing their favorite moments. It was the kind of interaction that stays with you, leaving you wondering what could have been, and even though it was all just for show, it felt real. Craig and Mila may have been just two people sharing a laugh on a late-night talk show, but for those few minutes, it was easy to believe there was something more. That's the magic of Craig Ferguson. He makes every moment feel special, leaving you wanting more. Morena Baccarin The moment Morena Baccarin walked onto the set of The Late Late Show, you could feel a shift in the air. Craig Ferguson's eyes lit up, and he didn't waste a second showering her with compliments. Now, Craig was known for his flirtatious style, but with Morena, it was something else entirely. He seemed captivated by her, and who could blame him? Morena has this magnetic presence that draws you in, and Craig was clearly under her spell. Craig couldn't stop talking about how fantastic Morena looked, his admiration evident in every word. He had this way of making compliments sound both sincere and a little mischievous, and Morena seemed to take it all in stride. She'd smile and laugh, playing along with Craig's antics, and the two of them had this easy, natural rapport that felt completely unscripted. Their on-air banter touched on everything from her acting roles to her personal preferences, and Craig wasn't afraid to get a little cheeky. He even brought up Marina's husband at one point, poking fun at him in a way that only Craig could pull off. Morena was already making waves in Hollywood by this time. She had just wrapped up her role on Homeland, where she played the complicated, powerful Jessica Brody, a performance that earned her critical acclaim. And then there was her role in Deadpool, where she brought both strength and vulnerability to her character, Vanessa Carlyle. Morena has this rare ability to command the screen, and that same presence was on full display during her interview with Craig. She wasn't just another guest. She was someone who could hold her own against Craig's wit and charm, and the result was pure gold. Craig's obsession with Marina's style was apparent, and he wasn't shy about letting everyone know it. He had this playful way of questioning her preferences, teasing her about everything from her taste in men to her thoughts on bald guys. It was all in good fun, of course, and Morena seemed to enjoy every second of it. She'd fire back with a quick joke or a knowing smile, and the two of them would dissolve into laughter, their connection obvious to everyone watching. 
It wasn't long before their banter went viral, with fans sharing clips of Craig's flirtatious comments and Morena's playful responses. Social media exploded with reactions to Craig and Morena's interaction. Fans were thrilled by their chemistry, and many took to Twitter to share their thoughts. Some joked about Craig's obvious infatuation, while others speculated about whether there was something more going on behind the scenes. It was the kind of moment that gets people talking, and Craig and Marina's episode quickly became a fan favorite. People couldn't get enough of their playful back and forth, and the clip started making the rounds, garnering thousands of views and comments. Marion Cotillard There's something about Marion Cotillard that just radiates charm, isn't there? When she appeared on The Late Late Show, Craig Ferguson was clearly taken with her. You could see it in his eyes, hear it in his voice. There was this mix of fascination and genuine admiration. And who could blame him? Marion's got that quintessential French style that feels both effortless and mysterious. It was almost as if the entire studio took on a different vibe the moment she walked in. Craig immediately honed in on her unique aura, even affectionately nicknaming her Whiskey Pete. It's the kind of nickname that could only come from Craig, equal parts endearing and quirky, and Marion just rolled with it, smiling and laughing as if she'd been called that her whole life. Marion Cotillard isn't just an actress, though. She's an artist in every sense of the word. Aside from her acclaimed film roles, Marion is also a musician. She's got this unexpected talent for playing various instruments, which you wouldn't necessarily expect from a Hollywood star. And yet, there she was, casually talking about her love for music and her hidden talents with Craig. He was fascinated, of course, hanging on to every word as she described her passion for music. You could see he was genuinely captivated, like he was discovering a new layer to this already intriguing woman. Marion shared that she's part of a French band, and you could almost feel Craig's interest deepen as she mentioned her nickname in the music world, Whiskey Pete, which had a bit of a rock and roll edge to it. The banter between them was pure gold. Craig, being Craig, couldn't resist tossing in a few Freudian comments, playful and a little bit cheeky. He had this way of throwing out a compliment or making a flirtatious comment that felt completely spontaneous, yet somehow perfectly timed. Marion, for her part, didn't miss a beat. She fired back with her own playful responses, laughing and tossing him a knowing glance that seemed to say, I know exactly what you're doing. The chemistry between them was undeniable, a little flirty, a little coy, and completely mesmerizing. They talked about everything from dreams to nightmares, and Craig, in typical fashion, managed to turn even the darkest topics into something light and fun. Fans absolutely loved it. As soon as the episode aired, social media was abuzz with reactions. People couldn't get enough of Craig's fascination with Marion's French charm, his compliments mixed with playful teasing, and Marion's effortless responses. Fans started sharing clips online, dissecting every moment and theorizing about what each look or laugh might mean. There was something so magnetic about their interaction that it was hard to look away. It felt like a scene from a romantic movie, two characters meeting for the first time and discovering they had more in common than they thought. Their dynamic became a topic of conversation on fan forums and social media threads, with viewers eagerly sharing their thoughts and impressions. Some fans even started referring to Marion as Whiskey Pete themselves, as if the nickname was now part of her public persona. Craig had this way of creating a narrative with each guest, and with Marion, it was like he'd woven this entire storyline in the span of a single interview. Fans were invested, and for a while, it seemed like everyone was caught up in the whirlwind of Craig and Marion's flirty, whimsical connection. The episode became one of those memorable moments that people revisit, drawn back to the unique energy that Marion brought to the show and the way Craig responded to it. There's a timeless quality to it, a sense that, no matter how much time passes, fans will always come back to this moment, curious to see that French connection unfold all over again. Brie Larson, 
Brie Larson's appearances on The Late Late Show were nothing short of captivating. From the moment she walked on stage, Craig Ferguson was full of compliments. He kicked things off by praising her fitness and appearance, his eyes lighting up as he mentioned how fantastic she looked. It was classic Craig, always quick with a compliment, yet never insincere. You could tell that he genuinely admired her, not just for her looks, but for her talent and presence. Bree responded with her usual grace, laughing and thanking him in that understated way that only Bree could pull off. At the time, Bree was on the rise, her career in full bloom. She had already made waves with her performance in Room, a role that showcased her incredible range and earned her an Oscar. It was the kind of role that could easily overshadow the rest of someone's career, but not for Brie. She followed it up with blockbuster performances, most notably as Captain Marvel, solidifying her status as a leading actress in Hollywood. On Craig's show, though, it wasn't about the accolades or the big roles. It was just Brie, relaxed and genuine, sharing laughs and trading jokes with Craig. There was something so refreshing about seeing her in that setting, away from the red carpets and the movie sets, just being herself. The humor between Craig and Bree was on another level. They had this way of using sarcasm and playful jabs to keep the conversation lively and entertaining. Craig would throw out a cheeky comment, and Bree would shoot back with a perfectly timed quip, her eyes twinkling as she delivered each line. They didn't hold back and that's what made it so fun to watch. Craig seemed to relish the chance to engage with someone who could keep up with him, someone who didn't take herself too seriously. Bree, for her part, seemed to genuinely enjoy the banter, leaning into Craig's jokes and even throwing a few curveballs of her own. Fans were quick to pick up on their connection. As soon as the episode aired, people started talking about it online, sharing clips and discussing their favorite moments. There was something so authentic about the way they interacted, something that made fans feel like they were watching two friends catching up rather than a formal interview. Craig and Bree had this natural rapport that drew you in, making you feel like you were part of the conversation. It wasn't just an interview, it was an experience, one that left fans smiling and wanting more. Their connection felt so real, so unguarded, that it sparked a wave of public fascination. Fans started speculating about what their dynamic might be like off-camera, wondering if they shared the same easy chemistry in real life. People loved the idea of Craig and Bree as friends, maybe even something more, and they eagerly followed along as more episodes aired, hoping to catch another glimpse of that same magic. It was a testament to both Craig's charm and Bree's down-to-earth nature that their interaction left such a lasting impression. It was the authenticity of their connection that resonated with fans. Craig and Bree weren't just putting on a show, they were sharing a moment, and that's something you can't fake. They had a way of making each other laugh, of finding humor in the smallest things, and that's what made their episodes so memorable. It was a reminder that sometimes the best moments on television are the ones that feel the most real. Craig Ferguson and Brie Larson gave us one of those moments, a little slice of authenticity in a world that often feels too polished and too perfect. And for that, fans will always be grateful. Craig's unique flirting style. Craig Ferguson's charm is like no other late night host. He brings this mix of cheeky humor genuine interest, and unpredictable wit that makes every interaction feel like you're eavesdropping on a flirty conversation. Where other hosts might go for rehearsed compliments or scripted jokes, Craig keeps things fresh and spontaneous. His flirting style feels natural, almost as if he's genuinely enamored with each guest, and maybe in some small way, he is. That's what makes him so captivating to watch. There's this recurring theme with Craig he treats every guest like they're the most fascinating person in the world. Whether it's a movie star, a comedian, or a lesser-known personality, Craig gives them the same level of attention. He leans in close, his eyes twinkling with interest, and he throws out compliments that make his guests laugh and blush. It's a well-known fact that many of his female guests left his show with a massive smile, and fans would often comment on the palpable chemistry. 
Take Marina Baccarin, for example. She is not easily flustered. She is known for her tough roles and unshakable demeanor. But on Craig's show, she was all smiles, giggling like a schoolgirl while he showered her with compliments. Craig doesn't just throw compliments around, though. He mixes things up with some playful teasing, which is part of his genius. He'll start off with a compliment on their outfit, then immediately follow it up with a joke that only someone with genuine confidence could pull off. And his guests eat it up. He's like that friend who can roast you without ever making you feel bad about it. If anything, it makes you want to stay longer just to see what he'll say next. This balance between sincere admiration and gentle teasing is what keeps his audience hooked. And let's not forget the viewers. Watching Craig flirt is like watching a masterclass in charm. You can't help but be drawn in, wondering what he'll say or do next. His style feels so effortless, like he's just being himself, yet there's a skill to it that's hard to ignore. Craig has this way of making his guests feel comfortable, which in turn makes the audience feel at ease. You get the sense that you're part of an inside joke, like you're sitting right there on the couch, sharing the moment with them. But there's more to Craig's flirting than just making his guests laugh. He genuinely listens, asking questions that show he's paying attention. He'll pick up on the little things, whether it's a subtle shift in body language or a quick glance, and he'll use it to steer the conversation into new territory. This is what makes him so different from other hosts. He's not just going through the motions, he's actively engaged, and that makes every interview feel like an adventure. It's this combination of wit, curiosity, and charm that makes Craig Ferguson such a beloved figure in late-night television. He blurs the line between friend and flirt, drawing people in with his infectious energy. And as a viewer, you can't help but be swept up in the fun. Watching Craig flirt isn't just entertaining, it's an experience. It's the kind of thing that keeps you coming back episode after episode just to see what he'll do next. And in a world where everything feels scripted and rehearsed, Craig's spontaneity is like a breath of fresh air. It's no wonder his fans are so loyal. Once you've seen him in action, it's hard not to fall under his spell. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.